The problem with misinformation is that you don't realize it's wrong until you've made a complete fool of yourself. That's what happened to me. I've been making a video about the monarch butterflies, the iconic insect that migrates from parts of Canada all the way to Michoacan in western Mexico, where I grew up. To do so, I'm on my way to meet Teresa Madrigal, a prominent member of the Purepecha, an indigenous community in the area. Hola, hola. Buenos días, señorita Teresa. I'm interested in speaking with Teresa because I'd always heard that monarchs were incredibly important for the Purepecha. And that the butterfly's yearly return to Michoacan signifies the reincarnation of the Purepecha's ancestors' souls. Unfortunately, Teresa is about to inform me that the story that I've been working on for four months is wrong. Pero yo nunca oí decir de las monarcas, ni las conocí. ¿Y usted ni las ha visto? No, no yo ni las conozco. Solo pues en pintar. No, 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 no. no. And she is not the only one. No, por supuesto, no son las monarcas. O las mariposas no están en territorio por el pecha. De... Pues no. Turns out, this belief belongs to completely different indigenous communities, including at least two that are closer to the forest where the monarchs winter. But here's the thing. I remember learning about the Purepecha and the monarchs in school only 45 minutes away from here. And I have seen this incorrect piece of information pop up in a bunch of different publications, both from the US and from Mexico. And that got me thinking, how did this weirdly specific bit of misinformation get propagated? Que después de la de la revolución, México tenía la necesidad de construirse como país. This is Benjamín Lucas Juárez, a historian of Purépecha descent who dedicated his life to studying the Purépecha culture. And he's talking about the 1910 Mexican Revolution. Y al intentar construirse como país, pues la idea también de tener símbolos que unificaran a lo mexicano, se aludió a las pirámides, a los aztecas, a los mayas, como una manera de, de reivindicar su pasado, pero también de unificar en la diversidad cultural en una o dos culturas. Es decir, que donde no hubiera las diferencias, no hubiera lenguas indígenas, no hubiera vestidos diferentes, no hubiera expresiones diferentes. Just one unifying Mexican identity. But in a country with over 65 indigenous communities and more than 360 languages, this unification would come at the cost of placing a few cultures center stage while pushing everyone else into obscurity. Que no habláramos nada por el pecho para que pudiéramos hablar el español. Si nos decían los maestros. And as a result, those cultures become more difficult for historians to study. We don't have the detail for Purepecha culture that same level as, say, we do Mayans and the Aztecs. On top of the relative anonymity and the sparse study of these indigenous communities, many of them pass down their ideas through symbols and unwritten traditions. The problem is, these can end up being misinterpreted by outsiders. Lake Pátzcuaro is about 250 miles west of Mexico City. More often than not, the island fishermen live in primitive adobe buildings centuries old. People on the outside have failed to understand the complexity of these traditions and how they might differ among multiple indigenous cultures. Most primitive people all over the world stopped using the throwing stick when the bow and arrow was discovered. But here on this beautiful lake in Mexico, it is still used every day. And it is from this outside and uninformed perspective that the misinformation about monarch butterflies might have originated. And so, these are the creations of the magic hands of Mexico. I mean, I think it starts with tourism. Esos son el tipo de errores en los que se cae en la promoción turística. These hands are not limited by age or gender. They know only one thing, how to create beauty. Quienes elaboran esos este, folletos turísticos, pues desconocen este, las regiones y, y pueden este, hacer afirmaciones equivocadas. Centuries ago, the ancient Maya realized the mesmerizing power of silver. A tourist-focused process, it, it doesn't care so much about authenticity, it cares about just aggregating imagined realities of 
Las instituciones encargadas de la difusión turística lo toman como si eso fuera algo vendible, algo que pueden explotar turísticamente. Pues así se ha hecho, lo han difundido, vengan a ver el espectáculo. Aquí mira. Mi hermana, la mayor. Esta es la que murió. This is still happening así today. Es. Take the Day of the Dead, el Día de los Muertos, as an example. Traditionally, it's a day when family and friends gather to remember those who have died. But over time, it's become a huge spectacle. And in 2016, Mexico City adopted a yearly Day of the Dead parade, copying a fictitious parade featuring the James Bond film Spectre, a completely new tradition created by the imagination of foreigners. Este fenómeno de, de turistificación es uno de los elementos que ponen en riesgo porque el comercio implica ahora una actividad económica que es más redituable que la tradición. Esto va desgastando sus propios elementos culturales. Which is why understanding and ultimately respecting unique traditions is so important. So let's get the facts right. The Purépecha do use butterflies as a way to think about the afterlife, but not the monarchs. Theirs are butterflies that are small and white. Lo que yo jugaba cuando era niña era con las que pasaban por aquí, las mariposas blancas chiquitas, y decían que ser el alma de los niños. But it's not just swapping monarchs for white butterflies. It is a completely different and more nuanced way of viewing the dead. La visión que tiene el Purépecha es ciertamente que hay alguien que fallece, eso es innegable, pero la idea es que esa persona que fallece, su alma o su esencia, como le queramos llamar, sigue viviendo, pero no como una entidad anímica abstracta, sino pues se le puede sentir a través del fuego, a través del aire. O, as butterflies. Estas mariposas revolotean por ahí, los niños juguetean. Entonces los abuelos dicen, no las espanten porque son las ánimas. Pero esta es un, una comunicación, una manera muy didáctica de ir acercando al niño al cuidado de la naturaleza, que entienda que las ánimas son entidades tan sutiles, pero tan presentes y tan cercanas como si fueran las mariposas. For the Purépecha, the dead remain constantly present, encountered in nature all around us. To explain this belief, the Purépecha turn to these small white butterflies and other natural phenomena. Now, misunderstandings aren't exclusive to Mexico. Many would argue that lots of modern communities all around the world have their own misconceptions about indigenous cultures. But that in itself just raises the question, how many more of these cultural misconceptions are out there and what can we do to prevent them? By including indigenous voices today in understanding the deep history of the Americas, we get not only a more accurate understanding, but one that reflects all of the diversity um, and uh, the different perspectives of native peoples who've inhabited this hemisphere for thousands of years. Si no hubiera costumbres, los pueblos estarían muertos. Tenemos muchas cosas bonitas en nuestros pueblitos. Muchas, muchas cosas bonitas. Es un orgullo ser purépecha. <risa>